Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start traveling the world. So in this video guys, we're going to talk about how you can eat in Paris on a budget. I'm talking about eating yummy foods, eating actual French foods, not McDonald's, not budget kebab foods, kebab restaurants. I'm talking about yummy French foods all on a budget. So guys, this video is a part of my how to travel Paris on a budget series. I literally talk about everything you need to travel Paris on a budget, from where to stay, what to eat, how to travel alone, just overall budget traveling tips, and even Paris Disneyland, which I will be publishing next week. So be sure to check out that playlist in the description and I'll link it, link it above as well. And also I created a workbook to help you plan your trip to Paris. That's also linked in the description. So be sure to download that. So before we jump right in, I just want to let you know, like any city in the world, prices and experiences vary from neighborhood to neighborhood. So, so the prices and the foods and everything that I'm going to talk about in this video, it's not for every single neighborhood in Paris, but it's for the average neighborhood. So for example, I'm going to talk about some restaurants in Montmartre. They're not going to be the same experience and prices for a restaurant right next door to the Eiffel Tower. It's just not going to happen. So make sure you watch my video on where to stay in Paris. I'll link it above and below because where you stay in Paris will help you save money in just many different ways. So make sure you make sure you watch that video. But for breakfast, just to give you some prices for breakfast, it's common to have a croissant and some coffee. A coffee will run you like two to three euros and a croissant will be about one to two euros. So you can have breakfast for like less than five euros. So for lunch, I highly recommend that you look into getting the plat de jour. The plat de jour is the plate of the day. It tends to be a more affordable meal to eat during the day. You can have a starter, an entree, and a dessert from between all three of those from 17 to like 25 euros, depending on the restaurant. And you can simply just get the, your entree or just the plate for between 15 and like 17, 18 euros. So the plate of the day will be a meat, um, some vegetables, and some kind of starch. It can be anything from fish to meat. It can be just about anything. And of course, you can expect on the plat de menu to have burgers and uh, pastas. So here's how to find the plat de jour menu. It's li literally just going to say plat de jour on the menu or it'll have you it'll have like a chalkboard sign outside of the restaurant or maybe hung in the restaurant um it'll say plat de jour it'll have the different entrees it'll first first of all it'll have the options starter entree dessert this is what it cost entree alone this is what it cost and uh, starter and entree this is what it cost then it'll have the different entrees the different starters and the different desserts and if you don't see the plat de jour menu, you can simply ask your waiter. Now, if your French is not so good, you can use the Google Translate app to translate the menu. You literally just put it over the menu or um, even something written on the wall and it'll translate into English. It's so cool. So guys, if you are on a super tight budget in Paris, I highly recommend that your biggest meal of the day be the plat de jour because you get a lot of food, a lot of good food, for under like 25 euros and also guys if it's the weekend and there's no plat de jour because generally plat de jour is on the weekdays you can also you can always find out if a restaurant has some kind of special we just happened to walk into this restaurant and found that we, could, we got a five course meal for 25 euros so delicious but it was pretty much a sample of the different meals on the menu you could get bigger portions of it but we just got a sample we got five courses it was amazing so you still can get some deals uh, during the weekend when you cannot get the plat de jour so if the lunch is too early for you and then you want to have a regular dinner you can expect to pay between 15 to like 30 dollars for dinner and 15 dollars tends to be the cheapest thing on the menu like a hamburger with fries uh, or a bowl of pasta and $30 will be probably like a, a filet mignon, an expensive uh, plate of food. So depending on what you get is depending on the price, of course. So just expect to pay on average about $25 for dinner. And that does not include a, a drink. 
you can expect to pay starting for a glass of wine, maybe five euros and up for a glass of wine. Of course, it's not going to be the best quality wine, but and you can, you should expect to pay for Coca Cola about four fifty or just any any um, fizzy drink about four fifty euros. And for a, a bottle of still water, I don't recommend getting this. Just get tap water. But if you're getting a bottle of still water, expect to pay about four fifty to five euros. Crazy expensive. Just ask for tap. And one important thing about dining out in France is that the restaurants are not open all day like restaurants in the United States. There is a, a time of day that restaurants are closed, usually between lunch and dinner. So after you have lunch, the plat de jour, there's a long gap, there's a long period that restaurants are closed. It's usually between 3 and 6 p.m. You, the restaurants are not serving food. They are serving drinks, they're not serving food. As for eating on a budget with the bakeries, expect to pay between uh, two to four euros for some like delicious desserts. I think that's a pretty great deal. I think the bakery, the desserts at the bakeries in Paris, I think they were steal for these fancy desserts, two to five euros. As for drinking in Paris, like I said, you can expect to pay starting five euros for a glass of wine. And for happy hour at a typical restaurant, we found that the happy hour drinks were between three to five euros. So three euros for like a glass of wine and then the mixed drinks, they were about five, maybe six euros. So me and my sister, we did a happy hour one day, including uh, two pizzas. And we probably had like maybe five drinks each, like two glasses of wine, maybe four or five drinks each. Yeah, we were drinking a lot. Um, we paid about $85 for the two of us, which is about, um, like 40 something dollars each, which I think is pretty good for a meal where we wanted to really enjoy ourselves. And my final note on dining out, don't be shy about trying more, um, non-French restaurants. Like we had a great time eating at different West African restaurants and I found the food to be a little bit cheaper than eating at the French restaurants. And it's just a cool experience. So do try some West African restaurants when you're in Paris. So now let's talk about super, super cheap eats in Paris. I didn't mention this earlier. You can go to the kebab restaurants and get some super cheap food. If you want to save some money, maybe there's some days you want to do the plat de jour and then other days you just want to go to the kebab restaurants. You can expect to pay between five to like 10 euros for a meal. We actually got two boxes of pizza for five euros each. And the pizza was actually like really, really good. So while I do recommend the plat de jour <laughs> to eat some good French food, you can do the kebab restaurants if you're on a crazy tight budget. Of course, you can get pizza, um, hamburgers, um, uh, cheeseburgers, uh, fries, uh, all that kind of like deep fried foods. And, ex and again, expect to pay between five and 10 euros. So guys, my number one tip for Paris and just any country that you're visiting, my number one tip is to cook as much as you can. You want to experience the country's cuisine. You want to do that, of course. So if you can cook two meals a day and just buy one meal a day, I highly recommend that you do that. So let's quickly talk about grocery shopping in Paris. So I did not keep a really good um, record of how much each individual item costs in Paris like you know meats like chicken and eggs and milk but for the four of us we were cooking a lot we spent about 120 dollars per week and that was like a lot of food because we have two children that are picky eaters so it was about 100 120 dollars or 30 dollars per person per week which i don't think it's very bad since we were cooking so many meals so guys if you're really on a budget you can expect to spend between 30 to 40 dollars a day on food in paris especially if you're buying groceries so guys i really hope this video helped you create a food budget for paris i do want you to go to, go to paris and just eat fabulously and just have a great time make sure you check that playlist out in the description comment with any questions that you have of course like this video subscribe Hit the bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.